tonight. The National Guard in Dane County after a night of violence leads to statues toppled and an attack on a state senator. Thanks for joining us. I'm Melissa Langben. This comes as protesters head back to the state capitol. Let's get over to News 9's Phil Aldridge with a live look at what happened. Phil. Melissa, Wisconsin State Senator Tim Carpenter suffered minor injuries in last night's demonstrations that also brought down two statues on the Capitol Square. The forward statue was dragged down State Street and the statue of a Union colonel ended up in Lake Monona. Both the forward statue and the Hans Christian Haig statue have been recovered. Last night's violence stemming from the arrest of a protester yesterday. Madison police were called to Cooper's Tavern on the Capitol Square. They released this video that police say is Devonna Ray Johnson, but the man identifies himself as Yeswa Musa. Police say he followed a person into the restaurant with a baseball bat while shouting into a bullhorn. Officers arrested him for disorderly conduct, and tonight, state GOP leaders are reacting. Don't forget, he had a baseball bat and a bullhorn threatening people inside a private establishment. That should never be tolerated. So I think the police acted appropriately. This afternoon, Governor Tony Evers deployed the National Guard to the area to help law enforcement, saying the Guard is being activated to protect state buildings and infrastructure. Now, earlier in the day, the governor released a statement on the violence, saying in part, quote, any single act of injustice against one person is less justice for all of us, and the people who committed these acts of violence will be held accountable. U.S. Congressman Tom Tiffany is calling on the governor to resign saying in a statement, enough is enough, and if he can't regain control, he should resign immediately. We'll continue to bring you the latest developments tonight at 6, Melissa.